So the Camaro is uh, is the exact opposite, I guess, to a lot of these lightweight cars, these highly, highly specialised cars we've had a track car of the year. Uh, it's a big, big, heavy car with a lot of lightweight solutions to bring the weight down, thinner glass, no air con, all that stuff, but it still weighs 1,720 kilos, 1,730 kilos. It combats that by having incredibly aggressive suspension and absolutely huge tires, 305 section tires all round. And that just, I mean, it makes the car look so cool, but you just don't know what it's gonna do in terms of the driving experience. But I have to say, it's uh, it's a real hoot. The engine is gorgeous. In fact, the whole drivetrain's go gorgeous. This seven litre V8, manual gearbox, revs to 7,000. It's got power everywhere, but it still rewards you really looking for those last thousand revs or so. Um, I love the drivetrain. The suspension, the body control is very, very good. There's hardly any body roll on this car. It's a big car, but there's not much sensation of that through what the controls are doing. Really clean steering, uh, excellent body control, really very good traction as well. And with those huge front tires, the balance is good. You don't get the understeer you expect. There's a teeny bit of understeer through the long corners, um, but mostly it feels neutral to oversteery, which is for me, that's about where it needs to be. Um, this car didn't have the freshest tires on. It wasn't a, a press car, it was an owner's car and it had been up at our Car of the Year competition the week before. So it wasn't probably in perfect tip-top condition. And it didn't just, didn't quite deliver the lap time we expected, um, but it delivered the fun. It really delivered the fun, the sense of occasion. Um, uh, we managed to get a pretty dry lap in, in terms of the lap time um, for the Z28, but the, when we came to shoot the video, we had an incredibly tight schedule the rain really came down. So that was a real shame because you didn't get to see the control that the car had and it just became an oversteer hooligan, which is, has its own fun, obviously. But that car is about more than that, I think. It's, uh, it's a really, it's a modern update of the muscle car, but with a real track focus. And that's, that's a cool thing in itself. Click on the link to watch the full Track Car of the Year film and for all the onboard laps go to the Tico playlist.